What's up, Gator fans? I am with George Brown, the newest Florida Gator commit, a uh, top recruit. He is one of the best offensive linemen in the country, and we welcome him, him in right now. George, how are you today? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? I'm doing real well. So, George, what was it about the Florida Gators that made you want to pull the trigger? So it was the family feel among the other commits. What is your feeling about Will Muschamp as a coach? Why were you so excited to go down there to play for him? So Coach Summers is the one who recruited you down to Gainesville. Yes, sir. What's your relationship like, if any, with other coaches like Brad Long or DJ Durkin and Travaris Robinson? Do you have any interaction with them? Um, definitely Coach Sparling. I was talking with him my sophomore year because around then I was still playing some officer tackle. I still am now, but he was one who played defense in air for him. So I have a good relationship with him. So, under Urban Meyer, the Florida offense was more or less extraordinary. I mean, there were years where you had guys like Percy Harvin flying up down the field, Rainey, Demps, Tebow pulling the trigger. Under Muschamp, the offense hasn't been quite as good. As an offensive lineman, how much responsibility do you put on yourself to help get that turned around when you come to Gainesville? Oh, I'm definitely because, you know, without the offensive line, the offense doesn't work, so the offensive line has to be the main key in the offense. Um, So we're talking about your future days at the University of Florida, and before we really get into it, I want to ask you, what are your goals for your senior year? Because you still have one more year in high school. I'll just go out and have a good season with my team. Hopefully we win a state championship. That's what we've been uh, working hard for this offseason, so we just have to keep working hard. Um, I've been up until my first game. Hopefully we win a state championship. Uh, personal goals, I would just say to get as many playing kicks as I can. Last year I had around 110, so I want to get around 130, 145 this year. Well, what was your recruitment process like? I know you picked Florida in the end, but tell me how you, exactly you came to that decision and what about the other schools just didn't get it done for you there? Um, the recruitment process is a stressful process at times. Who would you say came in second for you? Second, I would probably say um, Kentucky. Okay. Just because I have a lot of my cousins go there. Well, not a lot, but my cousin Mike Edwards just committed there. Uh, well, he's actually signed now, I'm sorry. And I know a lot of the commits and players that are already there because they have a lot of Cincinnati people. You know, uh, a lot of people on Rivals and 247 had you going there. Uh, what about it? What about them? Just did not get it done for you. Uh, I just mean I, I like Florida a little bit more. I mean, there's nothing that didn't get it done for me with Kentucky. I like them a lot. It's just that I feel like I, um, I like Florida a lot more. So, I mean. Well, the University of Florida football team did not have a very good season last year, going 4-8, and eight, losing at home to Vanderbilt and Georgia Southern, the worst year since 1979. I know you don't get there for another year, but what do you think this team can do in 2014? I think they could um, have a really good season this year. I went to one of the practices when um, I was on my visit, going to watch them run and watch them lift. You can tell them that um, they're ready to get it started, get rolling this year. And when you get to the University of Florida, you are going to have a bit of competition at for the offensive line. How do you look forward to that? Do you embrace it? Or are you, you know, not excited about it? What What's your thought about competing for a starting spot? 
mean, you don't, you don't want to just go in and have a start fight. You want to go in and compete. And after fun, it's fun being out other people for a spot. Well, that's what I mean. Well, last year, Florida had two injuries at quarterback before they finally settled on a third-string quarterback, Scott Morningweg. The second one, Tyler Murphy transferred. Now, transferred. now it's back to Jeff Driscoll. And from what you've seen of him, how successful do you think he can be? I think he could be um, very successful. I mean, I know he, he hasn't lost that many games, right? I think he was like... He's 12-4. He's 12-4 like, as a starter. Well, I, mean, he, I think he's been really good this year. Mm-hmm. And he's what are you thinking, good good thinking good. about in terms of blocking for him, maybe, next year? You excited? Um, that's what, that's excited. Now, George, what's your relationship like with other uncommitted recruits? Are you playing the role of recruiter now that you've made up your mind to go to Gainesville? Um, I'm definitely a recruiter. I mean, I talk to a lot of people like um, Will McLeod, Adonis Thomas, um, Coney, Jeff Lewis, and um, Will Smith. Um, they're all the guys that I talk to on a daily basis. Well, I got to ask you, I saw a tweet from Tavon Coney saying, I'm going wherever George Brown's going. George Brown's going to be a Gator. Is Tavon Coney going to follow you? Uh, most likely, I think so. Hopefully, I got to get him to go ahead and commit. So, I'm going to be talking to him soon. All right, that sounds good. George Brown, highly recruited offensive lineman. I look forward to seeing you in orange and blue, man. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. No problem. Thanks.